Would that excite you that in 12 weeks from today, you could be 15 to 20 plus pound lighter and you don't have to give up your favorite foods or standing countless hours at the gym? That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? And in today's training, I'm going to teach you how to do that by supercharging your metabolism so you no longer have to think about dieting or priving yourself anymore and yet still be able to lose weight and have freedom in your life. So if this is for you, if you are somebody that wants to lose 15 to 20 plus pounds in the next 12 weeks, stick around because I am pretty sure you're not going to regret this. So let's dive in. So let's talk about your metabolism for a little bit. All these women, for example, came to the program because they are struggling with weight loss. They have tried everything. They're somehow exercising, moving their bodies, but yet the weight does not budge. And that drives a lot of frustration and with all the reasons, right? And you probably are there too. But here's the thing that it was something that none of these women could realize on their own is that they had a slow metabolism. And what happens when you have a slow metabolism? It doesn't matter how little or how much you eat or exercise or whatever intention you do to lose weight, your body is just not efficient in burning calories. So you're finding yourself in that frustration mode because you feel like you're doing everything and your body is just not giving it back and with a real reason. But it's not all loss. Once you fix your metabolism, once you have your body efficient in using and burning calories again, that frustration is going to go away. Just like with this woman, Michelle and Allison and Jessica, they all came in with a slow metabolism. And today, look at them. They have lost 26 pounds, 23 pounds in 14 weeks. And they did not give up their wines. They did not give up their going on vacation and having a drink and having a pizza. That is still part of their life. But they just learned how to do it in a different way. They have learned that in order for them to lose weight, and you can too, you need to start working from the inside out. You need to boost and heal your body to be efficient in burning calories so you don't have to think about that again so your body can do that for you effortless. Before we dive in, I wanted to introduce myself because I want you to know that I come from a place that most of you guys are in right now and I can totally relate. I was never fit in my entire life. Growing up, my at age 15, I was taking antidepressant pills, didn't really know um, why I was just like really anxious and I, I, I was really sad. It's because I was very um, uncomfortable on my own body. I always struggled with my weight, with my self-esteem, and it did not come easy for me. And with all these struggles on my teenage years, it drove me to have a very bad relationship with food um, when I turned onto my 20s. And from being overweight, 205 pounds, all the way down to 90 pounds, where I was anorexic, I was bulimic in that process, which drove my body to shut down, which drove my body to say it's enough. So my metabolism was shot, my immune system was non-existent, and that drove me to um, stay between life and death in a hospital for two weeks and that was my um, my breaking point that's where I realized that if I did not do something I might not be here and have actually a life that I believe that I could have and that's when I asked for help that's when I hired my first nutrition coach and it was such a, a difficult journey for me because you know I still didn't have a good relationship with food and there she was telling me that I had to eat like 1,500 calories where sometimes I would not eat any calories my whole day. And that was a struggle for me. But she made me believe and, and she showed me the path and the way that it was possible. And once I understood that, it took me a little bit of time. But once I, I got the chance to learn and understand, my life completely changed. I was a different person and I am 37 years old today. And I'm the strongest I ever been. I'm the fittest I ever been. I have all the energy in this world for my family. I have very two athletic boys and a very athletic husband. So I need to keep up with them. And the life that I have today allow me to do that. And that's what I want for you as well. I want you to get out of your comfort zone. I want you to get out of this dieting cycle and actually build a life worth living. 
a life where you no longer have to think about food, a life where you don't look yourself in the mirror and you don't recognize who you see, or maybe you're even like not looking in the mirror just like I did. I never looked myself in the mirror because I was so disgusted with myself. And I believe that you can have a totally different life and you can totally get there, but you have to understand like how to get there. And if you are struggling today, it doesn't mean that you're going to struggle tomorrow. It learning how to boost your metabolism, learning how to actually feed your body and do the things day in and day out that is going to help you to become that best version of yourself is going to be the number one key. And that what it was for me and that I believe that can be for you as well. And as an entrepreneur, as a mom, and as a wife, today I have the totally freedom and the total confidence that I never had in my life. And that's what I want for you. And that's why I became a coach. And that's why I'm doing this here today. But telling you this, it's because I lived, I lived all of it, the good and the bad of everything. And I know that there is a silver lining. I know that there is a, a, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. But you have to believe and you have to fight for it. And if you believe, if there is an, an opportunity for you to grow and change, and if you want to give yourself this chance, dive all the way to it because you will find that person that you're looking for in the other side. And that's my advice for you today. Stick around because you're gonna have you're gonna learn a lot. And uh, at the end of this training, you're going to uh, have a different vision on how you want your life to go about and how you can lose weight and keep it off forever. All right, so let's dive on the three biggest problems with nutrition. So by far, this is going to be nutrient deficiency diet, over or under eating proper nutrients and vitamins, and then misunderstood meal timing. So let's dive in on those problems. And then I want to show you how you're trying to fix these problems, but it actually it that's why you're facing a lot of struggle right now because the way that you're trying to fix it is actually not the right way. And then I'm going to show you the right way to fix it so you can finally break through and stop dieting and lose weight and keep it off forever. Okay, so let's dive on the first problem. So the first one is nutrient deficiency diet, which is poor quality food. The struggle here is lack of time or misinformation. Misinformation is like there's so many flashy diets out there that if you're just trying to grab the next thing, the next thing, you're probably missing a lot of the good nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that your body needs in order for you to lose weight. For example, let's talk about like keto diet, right? Keto, everybody brags about it, but you can't eat fruits. And fruit, it has tons of vitamins and minerals. And your body needs the mineral and vitamin to convert energy from food. So if you're not getting that, the foods that you're eating is being stored as body fat because your body doesn't have the tools to work for, right? And the same thing with convenience, like all these drive through and fast food, it's high um, processed foods that is going to take a very big dive on your metabolism because your body needs the right nutrients in order to boost that metabolism up, which is the efficiency that your body uses in burning calories and without those proper nutrients your body is not going to be able to do that so that's problem number one problem number two is over or under eating proper nutrients and vitamins so which I, what i mean by that is like we all have a dream of having abs and shoulders right we want to have a toned body at least that was for me like i always dream about my abs but here's the thing i was never eating enough protein so i could never ever build anything because that's how your body builds muscle is from protein. And I know by fact that women are not getting enough protein throughout their day. And not to even mention about carbohydrates. Everybody's so afraid of carbs. At least I was. And um, and carbs is energy. Like for you to avoid those mood swings, those cravings, those um, actually like those being sluggish and crashes in the afternoon, that is going to be by you eating it enough energy giving your body energy and it's going to be with carbohydrates and yet we're so afraid of it right so we're under eating protein we're under eating carbs you're overeating fat and that Im imbalancing imbalance of all of these macronutrients it really really messes with your metabolism 
Um, and then the last one is going to be meal timing. This is going to be like, it's a big one that I used to do this all the time. I used to eat like one strawberry a day and then I wouldn't eat all the way, all the way up to night. And then I would again like eat very little. And that is taking a toll on your metabolism because it's sending missed signal to your body. And if you're not giving enough food to your body often, your body's going to see that as a scarcity, as it's being under attack. And if you're under attack, what happens, your body will start hoarding everything you eat for safety mode. And all this safety mode is going to be stored as body fat. So even though if you're eating very little, but you see the scale is not budging, it's because your body is in scarcity mode. And that is a huge problem when it comes down to boost your metabolism, because that is going to for sure is slow down your metabolism and you're not going to be able to efficiently burn and using any type of calories right and then here is how we try to solve this problem like we know that we need to do something to lose weight and then here is how we try to actually lose the weight is relying on supplements extremely calorie restriction diet and then fasting or skipping meals. This is how we know, right? The old way, this is how we try to lose weight. And that probably this is where you see yourself right now. It's like, oh, I'm doing those things, but nothing is happening. It's because it's actually, it's the wrong way. And I'm gonna tell you exactly why this is not gonna work. So supplement. Supplement is not a magic pill. This is, should be an addition to, right? When, it, when you have like a really good, um, way of eating and you have like a nutrition full of vitamin minerals and nutrients diet and then you supplement to help you to get those uh, vitamins that you're not getting through the foods because maybe lack of variety for example so that should be just an addition to but it should not be your main thing and it blows my mind that like the amount of money that women spend throughout the month on supplements like hoping and crossing their fingers that it's going to stick and they're going to lose weight that's not how it works for example, like you can take all the kinds of nutri uh, vitamin uh, supplements that you want, but if you're overeating your ca your uh, calories, it's it, again, it's not a magic pill, and that is pretty much like money down the drain. It's not doing you any favors. So don't rely on supplements to lose weight because that is not gonna work. Uh, the wrong way number two that we're trying to solve here is extremely calorie restriction diet. What happens when you restrict yourself so much that you're so strict that you can't eat anything? Your body goes crazy, and what happened? You give in, and then you call like it's my cheat day, or or I fail, I can't do this because your body is going to make whatever it's gonna have to make to do in order for you to eat. And what happens? Like you give in in day two because you have so much restriction, and then you're like screw this, I'm going to eat, and then you eat 10 times more than you're supposed to do. And this is just like sending missed signal to your body, and that is also damaging your metabolism, right? So calorie restriction does not work because it's not sustainable. You can do it for a little bit, but and then you're going to overeat because your body can only go hunger for so long, right? So that's the second way that we try to solve that's not the, the right way. And then the last one is skipping meals. Across the board, I hear this, like, I don't understand. I don't eat breakfast. I, I don't eat lunch. And then I eat dinner and I still don't lose weight. Like, that's exactly why. Because your body is under a starvation mode. Well, just like I mentioned before, anytime you put your body under stress and your body feels like it's being deprived, it doesn't have any fuel. So it will hold on to everything, even if you're eating very little and it's going to store as body fat. So in order for you to do that, in order for you to like, get your body functioning again, you need to have a different approach because those old ways, as you know, does not work anymore or it does not work at all because all you're doing, you're putting more stress in your body, more stress in your body is going to be a slower metabolism, slower metabolism, less efficient your body gets to burn calories, less efficient your body is in burning calories, more body fat you're gonna store, more body fat you're gonna store, the unhappier you're gonna be. So it's just like a cascade of things that it's not very pleasant. So here I'm gonna show you exactly how I solve this problem. This is the base, the first phase of a nine step roadmap. I want you to think about 
this is as how I solve all this problem that you're facing right now. Every little box is designed to solve a specific problem. And then every under every little box, there is a specific action. And with the nutrition that I just talked to you about today is the foundation is the first phase and I call it metabolic foundation. This is where we address all the things, all the three problems that I talked about. This is how exactly we address them. And the beauty of it is that all this is personalized. Like one size does not fit all. So it's 100% personalized to you, right? So the, the goal, the overall goal is always going to be like for you to feel and look your best. In order for you to lose weight and keep it off forever, we need to follow specific steps. And with the food in a specific, is going to be like the priority here of this step is to decrease inflammation, decrease bloating, so you feel energized, so you start to feel like, oh my gosh, you start feeling like yourself again. Because less inflammation, less bloating, your body is going to start releasing weight. And that's what you want. And that's where you see that 15 to 20 pounds in 12 weeks being lost. It's because you are giving your body what it needs with the right nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. Then we move to like balancing those foods. Make sure you're understanding like how you should be eating your protein, your carbs, and your fat. That they, carbs are not your enemy. So you're going to be eating abundantly and enjoying those foods. And meal timing, like we go about it like everybody's schedule is different, right? So, but there is a specific time and a specific way that you should be eating to actually help your body release all this weight that is being holding on for a very long time. And that is a specific step of the first phase that I've been helping women their day in and day out to lose weight. Here is a client that lost 35 pounds in 16 weeks by simply addressing her eating and then giving her the exercise that she enjoys, addressing her lifestyle. This is how she got to be 35 pounds in 16 weeks. And before, she's like, no matter what I do, I can't lose weight. But she was under eating. She was not eating enough of the good stuff. And then, again, I have a, a school teacher. She's very, she has a very stressful job. Like, if, if you're a teacher in today's society, you are up for a lot of stress in your life. And she was stressed. And she's like, I can barely eat because I'm not hungry. But she didn't understand that she was not hungry because her metabolism was really shot because she was having a lot of stress in her life. By addressing the stress, by addressing the food, she was able to lose 20 plus pounds in 16 weeks, right? And then the list goes on and on. And here we have perimenopause. So she's struggling with like night sweats, hot flushes. She couldn't sleep. She's mood swing. She's like, I feel like I want to choke my husband, you know? And by, again, by addressing the right way for her to be eating and feeding her body the way that it's supposed to be and eating often, because she was barely eating throughout the day, by the way, made her metabolism to be functioning again. So she not only lost weight, she put a lot of muscle, she lost weight, and all those symptoms are gone, right? And then, and the, again, the list goes on and on and on on how you can absolutely lose the weight by simply addressing your metabolism and that goes a long way so i want you to understand that in order for you to lose weight diet overtraining, or spending countless hours at the gym and restricting yourself from the foods that you love those are not the answer the answer is you getting at the bottom of the problem which is a sluggish metabolism once you give your body the right nutrients, the right vitamins, the right minerals, the right treatment that it deserves, you will start releasing those weights without any effort. Like you're going to be sleeping and you're going to be losing weight. And today I want to give you as a bonus this 15 metabolism, metabolism boosting foods that my clients are using, I am using. It's full of flavor, it's enjoyable, and it's absolutely what your body needs in order to release the weight, in order to Feel like it's getting what it needs so you can absolutely lose weight. So this is to you. It's for you. You're probably already downloaded. So I would strongly recommend you to dive through it. Choose your favorite recipes and start working on them because they are absolutely amazing.